Hi guys, Picture Perfect here, and today I'm playing a new game. I'm playing Monster Loves You. It's an interactive sort of story game where you start life as a baby monster, and as you grow up, as you get older, you run into various adventures and scenarios and the decisions that you make influence your personality. You get um, points towards certain traits so you get to shape the type of monster that you grow up to be and uh, ultimately your personality it kind of determines the way that the ending of the story unfolds. There are a 14 different endings and um, yeah I don't know it's a really quirky interesting little game I've played through it a couple of times and I really enjoyed it so I uh, thought we'd play through it together and we'll see how it goes so uh, yeah other than that let's get started help me begin your story how does it go again Long ago, deep in the forest, monsters called the Whale Mist. That's right, long ago, nestled in the heart of the forest, was the monster village of Omen. You are born from slime that holds the memory of monsters known for... Actions and attitude, or words and thoughts. I am going to go for words and thoughts. You're not awake yet but soon your first eye will open. Your simple dreams will give way to life itself. You dream of... Helping the sick and soothing the woeful, outsmarting everyone else, or speaking true when others lie. Hmm. Now, I'm torn between the first one, helping the sick, and the last one, speaking true. I think I'm going to go for this one, helping the sick and soothing the woeful. Oh, kindness. So yeah, as you make decisions, you get points towards uh, certain personality traits. So there's bravery, there's cleverness, ferocity, honesty and kindness. Your body is turning and twisting, growing solid in the middle of a great vat of green slime. It's time to be born. Uh, see these are the different traits, we can see them a bit more clearly now. Bravery, cleverness, ferocity, honesty and kindness. Yeah, I also really like the art style of this game. I just, I don't know, I just like the whole thing. I think it's just very well put together. I just, I just find it really enjoyable. So these are the little monsters being born. So yeah, let's, let's start life, let's be born. You awaken in the searing season when the sun shines strongly overhead. Onward. Your eyes open. You're a morsel, just barely born. You float in the spawning vat. Dozens of other morsels are exploring, flailing and stealing food from each other. I think we're going to float just a little bit longer and enjoy the peace. You close your eye and breathe for a while. You're at peace. As long as you live, you will always remember this one moment of perfect, transcendent calm. Oh, that's nice. Abandon the world within and engage the world beyond. You open your eye again and smile with a new form mouth. There are many other morsels here. Perhaps they'll be your friends. Another morsel swims towards you. It opens its mouth to show a set of small, sharp teeth. It bites you. Well, that's not very nice. Do we want to swim away? Or tell him to stop? I think we should tell him to stop biting. Biting's not nice. You pause, unable to believe that another morsel is trying to eat you. He's trying to eat me! I thought he was just biting me! Okay. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Resist it kill it or unite other muscles to repel the attack. I think we're gonna try and get some others to help us because I don't think we're gonna be strong enough to do anything about it by ourselves. 
You speak, your words are simple, but some of the mortals understand you. They converge on the biter. This aggression will not stand. Your tiny, slimy flotilla frightens the bad morsel away. It retreats to the far end of the spawning vat. Good. Patrol the spawning vat and look for more trouble. I don't want to look for trouble. <laughs> Splash, flutter, splish, squeak. Another morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking towards the bottom of the spawning bat. Oh no. We need to help it. That's terrible. You feel a deep sense of injustice at the smaller morsel's impending demise. If only you could do something about it. Well, let's do something about it. You swim to the morsel, determined to act. Get under the morsel and push it up, or try to think of something. If I try to think of something, will I actually succeed in thinking of something? Let's have a look. You rack your newborn brain. Wait, there! Some animal bones and sticks rotting at the bottom, half hidden beneath the slime clumps. Prop up the dying mussel. That sounds like a good plan. You swim to the bottom, casting about. You gather some sticks and the long curving ribs of a deer. Okay, well that just got a little bit weird, but okay. Get them jammed together good and tight. Okay. The morsel's own dissolving body holds everything together well enough. Half its body is above the surface of the slime. Okay, that's good, right? Make sure nobody messes up what you've created. You swim in circles around the rescued morsel, keeping the cruel ones and biters away until your new friend begins to move and solidify. Help the morsel off the structure. As you do, you feel dizzy. That's the first. You've never been dizzy before. Everything goes green. Wake up. Your friend is gone, uh oh. But not dead. Whew. Another morsel points to the edge of the spawning bat while you slept the weak one grow into a monsterling. Yay! Hooray for brains! We saved our fellow monsterling. Or morsel or something. Now I've grown into a monsterling. Okay, you've grown too big for the spawning vat. You must move on to the next stage of your life and become a monsterling. Any advice? You're going to get into some trouble, which is great. Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness and honesty. What kind of monster will you be? Indeed, to the brood cave and the adventure. <laughs> 